So, it's been a few days, like uh, three, four days, since I've asked uh, a South African black to tell me that life is equal between you can walk the streets and there have no fear of any, you know, reprisal or anything. Life is equal. There's troll. E there's no black person from South Africa that commented and said equality is equal. But over the last few days, I've seen several videos of poor, poor white South Africans. And um, there's one video of poor South African, uh, poor black South, poor white South African, rich black South African. And they both spoke of before apartheid. And it is different. This man can barely feed his family, blah, blah. And on the other hand, the black couple have become entrepreneurs. And now they're uh, international uh, designers, so to speak. In other words, um, I can basically understand. And this is no farther than what I'm saying about equality. It doesn't matter what I meant when I said the things I said last week are exactly the same today. There is no equality in South Africa. And yeah, there are white people who live below the poverty line, but who drew the poverty line in the first place? When the white man was biting his tongue saying it was better before uh, apartheid was ended. Because it was better because a white person was guaranteed a job when they get finished high school or college. Guaranteed a job. And now as black people's guaranteed a job, they're trying to say that everything is completely flip-flop. So if it's that bad for white people, then how bad do you think it was for black people? And understand this when I say this. The white people that are suffering in South Africa are not rich white people. These white people that are suffering in South Africa didn't have much when apartheid was in place in the first place. They didn't have it as bad as they had now, but they didn't have it as good as people would believe that they would have. See what I'm saying? I, I don't like competing with the television up there. Hold on a second. Sorry it took me that long to find a remote control. I'm back and I apologize for the delay. But like I was saying, being poor in white Af being poor in white Africa, being poor in South Africa and being white. You didn't think I would look into that? Understand when I say imperialistic dictatorships. As one of the regular common people, you are no more than a common person. When apartheid was ended, your free ride has ended. Those who benefit the most from apartheid being implemented are still in high favors. Those people still have money. Those people still can feed their families. But lots of whites now can't lots, hundreds of thousands of white families now cannot feed themselves and live the life that they did when apartheid was in effect. Is that equality? When I say people should be treated equal and should people benefit from those who've been oppressed? No. And since a government decides not to allow a group of people to benefit anymore from oppression, they cut a large group of those in which they deemed undesirable of their own race off. You understanding what I'm getting at? Those who feel good in South Africa and are white 
and live as large as they did while apartheid was going on had already separated themselves from poor South Africans, white and black. What I'm truly trying to get at in all my stories based on any geographic or any situation is this. When we allow a certain group of people who are pretty much primarily Caucasians control us all through the media, through, uh, you know, the industrial sector, through the travel sector, through whatever. If we're being controlled by one group of people, then what are we but cattle? You've seen the brown cows. You've seen the black cows. You've seen white cows. But they're all cattle. You see what I'm getting at? The desire... <sighs> the divide between rich and poor is just cut clear now it's clear if you put yourself in position to get a certain spot they'll let you sit at your table they're not gonna let you have that free spot anymore they're not gonna give those opportunities to everyone anymore but that one story I wish I'm gonna find I'm gonna find the link if I can to put on this video it was I believe it was rich black South African, poor white South African, or something like that. And it showed a white family struggling. But when you look at this white family, I'm pretty sure that I saw a few uh, people of color in the background. In other words, these aren't the kind of white people uh, the upper crust of South Africa probably would enjoy in the ranks. You understand what I'm saying? There's different classes of people and when I make my statements on South Africa and I say black and white, I should make my statements about South Africa exactly like I make my statements about the United States, poor and rich. But it costs a lot of money to sit at the table that used to be exclusive. You know what I mean? It cost to sit at the big table. And a lot of us aren't even welcome once we can get the money to sit there. So understand this. Poor white people in South Africa. You had it good when apartheid was there. There was no difference in anything. The achievements were available. Education was available. The rich black family I saw in the video that I saw they had their child in a private school that probably cost money now before apartheid a lot of whites were privileged they could go to the better schools and they still can they're still schools aren't just completely open to everybody not yet there's ways of weeding people out, making it so that if these black people want to succeed, they have to put themselves in position to pay the price. And by giving other people the opportunity to sit at the big table, a lot of other people will be excluded. No longer will you have a free job when you get out of high school or when you quit going to college, just like the blacks. There's nothing given free anymore. And a lot of those whites who don't have the resources to take it to the next level fall to the wayside just like the Kethas and the Dirty Indians or whatever they have there. Or whatever other bad name for another race for no apparent reason at all but it'll fit good in this piece because that's how some people think. That now that apartheid has ended that these black people are taking from white people now what is rightfully theirs because they believe they built it not on a sweat of their deeds but on the knowledge in which they use to acquire a certain status or position they earned it 